Hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone, my name is Grace from Gracie's Diamond World and yes, I have my eye patch on or eye mask and my pajamas. I'm doing this straight after doing a live with Shay from uh, Crafting with Shay. Thank you so much Shay, if you happen to watch this video, it was so much fun. You've got me jump started into doing this haul today that has been waiting for, I don't even know how long to be done as an unboxing. However, if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, hello, welcome, I'm Grace from Gracie's Diamond World. And if you have stumbled for the first time on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. Before we get into this massive haul, massive haul, let's do what we always do and throw some love out to the Patreons of the channel. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel, my journey. Let's throw some love out to these peeps and I'm gonna see you guys on the flip side. Come with me. Okay guys, are you ready? Are you ready for this monumental unboxing I have had these products or these diamond paintings in my stash for the longest time. They were bought from our local crafting store, which is called Spotlight. For those of you in Australia, you will know the store. From those of you that are overseas, it's kind of akin to what is typically known as Michael's or Joanne's, you know, all sorts of crafting things. I got them on sale at the time, which was, I don't know, I've had these for about six months, if not more, if not more. Anywho, let's begin. I'm gonna go smallest to biggest. Uh, Diamond Dots, it is very, very famous for, I think being one of the first companies, if I'm not mistaken, to bring out diamond painting, and the rest is history. Uh, you're going to see all the clearance sticker prices on them. Okay, and let's just go through one by one, one by one. Uh, Diamond Dots, these are the boxes that I've got. Midnight Cat is the one that we're doing, and you will see uh, how the boxes are laid out. Now, on one side, you will see the design area, and this one here is a little itty bitty one. It's actually a 27.9 by 35.5, and the fabric size is there as well. But then when you flip it to the other side, you'll see that it's a partial. So see how all that's in the black there? This picture here on this side will show you what is going to be diamond painted. So most of these I think are partials. Uh, if you're not into partials, I'm sorry. Uh, diamond dots are famous for having them. However, you know, it might be something just for entertainment purposes you'd be interested in watching right through. So let's crack open into this. I haven't opened it and I'm trying to open it and it's not working out and I haven't got my scissors. Oh, I don't want to break the box. Hang on one sec. I have scissors. All right. So, who's done diamond dots before? Diamond dots, um, if I can get into this box, it's not going to allow me to get into anything. Um, you can get them in specific suppliers, if you will, uh, online, different places. All right. Oh. Not very respectful. This one here, I probably won't do myself, but I did get it because I know that my sister-in-law and my niece, they're into kitty cats. So I'm not a cat person. For the price that it was, I figured why not? Okay, so let's have a look at, uh, now they're always going to be stiff. You will always get Look at this, look at this. All these instructions in every possible language you could want. Now, you can always look up how to do diamond painting by watching YouTube channels, uh, all that sort of thing. However, these come into handy and come into their own when you're giving these uh, gifts to someone who's never done a diamond painting before and they've got the instructions, okay? So let's have a look at this painting here. I always find that they are quite stiff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they do need to relax out a bit. So whilst that's under the crook of my arm, let's have a look at the diamonds. Now in here, you'll find their toolkit. 
let's position this a little bit so that I'm not stretched out too far. All right, so a typical toolkit is you've got a caddy of wax, and you know I love me a caddy of wax. You've got a diamond painting tray, a squishy or a thumb grip or a finger grip to, that goes around your diamond painting pen and some baggies. Now, if you are new to diamond painting, this is all you need to give it a whirl, dip your toe in and see if this is something that you would like to do, okay? So a great starter kit, a great starter kit. I'm not going to go through all the diamond colors, all the, all the, all the, all the colors, if you will, of each painting because seriously, how much time do you or I have? Not that much. However, let's have a look. It's a cat, it's a putty cat. It will work up so quickly. So, so quickly. Let's um, zoom you in. Oh, that way. And there is glare because, you know, that's how we are. But if I roll that back, that hopefully will help. Okay. This here is not sticky. No stick. No, no stick. No stick whatsoever. See? All this black. The cat is, oh, and she is sticky. Okay. So that's all you're going to be diamond painting. If you want to dip your toe in that's a great starter kit if you're a lover of cats again a great kit to give or if you this is what i like about this if you know someone who's having a birthday or something like that this makes a really really good um present in my opinion especially if their cat looks anything like that okay let me mm, that glare is terrible i'm going to see and we're not going to get away with it. But if I lift it up, you'll see it better. See that? I'll see if I can get you into the drill field. Oh, that camera lens is not going to do it. I'll have to bring it up. There's your drill field. Very, very clear. Diamond dots use very typical symbols. They're very consistent with their symbols. And this has... Oh, it doesn't have the number. Oh, the other thing you need to know. Okay. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a diamond dots. They are scalloped. And they're all also got the little holies there. Now they do not use DMC codes. They've got their own codes here. Okay, so they're not DMCs. They do convert. They can convert to DMC if you want to keep your DMC. Uh, pardon me, your drills, your diamonds. You can convert them over. All right. Uh, so you can see. Whereas normally these would be DMC numbers. This is the diamond dots code for them here. And we don't. It doesn't say the number, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Eleven there. Uh, I don't know if there's any ABs in here. Let's have a quick look. Pretty much a lot of black. Oh, look at how's that for a piece of trash? Whew. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that there's any ABs. Let me just quickly have a look. And I will explain what an AB is once we come across one. Short for Aurora Borealis, but they are numbered. The bags are numbered. And then they've got the code here, the diamond dots code there to allow you to kit up. So there's our first one. Quick, simple, uh, dip your toe in, go for it sort of kit. And that's Midnight Cat and that's the Diamond Dots code right there. We're going to just put them all aside. Really, as I said, not something that I would really do. And yes, did I get it for the sake of showing you guys? Absolutely, I did. And we'll be probably giving this either already done up or uh, to be done to, uh, to my sister-in-law. Because why not? Why not? So let's pop that one aside. Let's start gathering up our boxes. Let's get on to the next one. Okay. So, I should have uh, done these all opened up, but I didn't. Where am I going to open this up from now? Maybe this side. No. Hmm. Okay. Who's done diamond dots before? Who out there has done a diamond dots before? Let's get it out of its wrapping. Let's get it relaxed. 
whilst I show you the diamonds. I'm not going to... Oh, ah. Rather than showing you uh, what, which is what I normally do, I normally show you an insert of the original pictures. I'm just going to show you the boxes and you'll get an idea of what they are there. Oh, I like this one already. Can you see? You can probably see outside what it is. Oh, there. Get out of there, kitty cat. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's our diamonds here. Let's have a look at the painting. Are you ready? Uno, due, e tre. Ooh this one here is called Rainbow Parrots. Now, Diamond Dots are also, they license their work, okay? And this one is produced from Shutterstock. This one here is design size of 77 by 30, and the fabric is 85 by 38. So what that means is the design size is from here to here. You can't see, here to here. The fabric size is from end of fabric to end of fabric, both ways, okay? The other thing also to know with diamond dots is that you will get a border. See this border that's around? Can you see, can you see that border? Okay, that's not diamond painted, but it gives you like this faux border. But how's that for some parrots? You know I love me birds. I like my birds. Um, if anyone ever comes across a uh, diamond painting, a licensed diamond painting piece that's got pigeons in it, I would love to know. But birds always make me happy because they remind me of my brother. And this has got a butt ton of colours. Look at these colours. I like that they've been set out. Look at the, see how they've been set out in groups? Check it, check it. And I also feel that this is something that you wouldn't get bored with. This is very, very confetti heavy very confetti heavy I'll see if I can show you which is good in this in the sense that you will get the detail that you're looking for okay see the confetti the clarity is there so what I mean by that you won't get bored what I always kind of judge a painting by is uh, not only the subject matter that I'm doing, but also the colours. So because you've got variety of colours here, you could really set this aside and do, you know, one bird a week and just 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 map it out and or, you know, carve it up whichever way you like. Normally I section my paintings off going across the top. This one here, because of it's so narrow, narrow this way for me, I might actually make a whole bird a section and work, work on a bird at a time uh, that way. But we'll see how we go. Now, let's see if this has any ABs. I don't know if it does. Pardon the crinkles. There's our diamond painting kit. Whee! And these are our diamonds, but I'll give you an idea of the color palette that you're working with. I can't see again any, oh yes I do, yes I do, ooh. So A09, it's not even, I was just checking to see if there's any indication on the legend to see if there's ABs there, but no. So is that, it's either an A, yeah it is an AB, wow. Um, all right, let's see. Where are those scissors? Will it tear? I'm always scared to tear because, no, I, I don't like tearing. There's one. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because, oh no, there is a little bit. Diamond Dots is notorious for static, all right? If you didn't already know, or if you haven't had any experience, Diamond Dots paintings are notorious for having static. Uh, the way to combat that is you simply get a dryer sheet, okay, and put it in there, rub it around, and that generally does help it. No ABs there. Check out this pink, though. oh my goodness, look at that. 
that magenta pink oh my gosh this one's a bit weird this particular batch look at all that there's two different colors in there that's going to be fun can you see that hmm all right i think we've only got maybe this the one ab which is the yellow they've decided to make the yellow stand out it seems so yep just making sure for you guys all right so that's there's only the yellow all right so we've got this yellow here see how that it's already sparkly like diamond dots uh, diamonds are super super sparkly they really really are okay put that against this can you see the extra can you see the extra glisten on that so this is an aurora borealis okay it's got an extra coating on it so that when you put this down on your painting not only is this going to glisten and shine and twinkle like compared to this one but it's going to pick up the colors of the diamonds beside them so that they twinkle and sparkle even more so so this one here is the number nine okay and that number nine is the dot symbol and looking at this i can see that it's going to be along here a little bit up there and dotted throughout here pardon the expression haha <laughs> Yeah, interesting that they've only highlighted this dude here. They've only just put ABs in him. Interesting. I would, I can see why they're, they're wanting to highlight just one uh, and not too many. Would you sit there and would you do any more? I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts? This is great for uh hey if you're doing the dp pride 2022 what an awesome awesome painting to be doing for that because it's got hey it's actually called rainbow parrots there's a clue there's a clue uh although i do believe they are missing some of the colors of the rainbow doesn't matter it doesn't matter all right so let's pop that one aside and let's get into the next one different paintings today hey peoples all right let's get into this i think i'm getting quicker at opening these boxes which is awesome because that's what you want oh i was going to show you oh so this is the painting there okay this here is the partial that's what you'll be diamond painting the birds see how it works okay all right beg my pardon there's a lot to get through i'm making sure that i don't miss any steps for you because like i said it's been a long time coming open up open up open all right let's have a look at this one this is a very famous painting a lot of you would have seen it before let's get it out of its bag Come on, give me my painting. Let's get it relaxed. You would have seen this version in many different companies, many, 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 many different variations of it. Uh, it's a very famous painting. Let's have a look. I was curious to know how it was going to come out with the diamond dots. You can probably see throughout. However, let's go. Uno, e due, e tre. There it is. It is Starry Night by Van Gogh. Okay. Your design size is 50.8 by 40.6. So it's a pretty smallish one. Again, it's a round. Well, I wish it would tell, does it tell me how many colors on here? So I don't have to count them. That would be awesomeness if they did. Um, oh, 38 colors. There you go. I don't have to count. 38 colors in this one. Is it a smallish, like it's very pixelated. I'm not going to lie. See that? But it is a pretty cool art piece. It's not going to be, in my opinion, it does not look anything like the original. 
uh, artwork by Van Gogh by any stretch of the imagination but it does give you some sort of sort of abstract interpretation of it if you will uh, let's have a look here to see if there's any ABs in this one open 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 I like it that they put the toolkit inside here see oh pink here I wonder how many different colors we're going to get so these are the colors that you're working with here obviously your blues oh perp look at that purple oh love the purple I'm just doing a hunt and a peck for ABs for you guys no and no and you would think that in a in 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 starry night you would get ABs but clearly none in this kit clearly none in this kit alrighty then but again you do get some variation in colors 38 colors for such a small kit that's pretty pretty intense when I see a small size with lots of colors that tells me it's going to have confetti and looking at the drill field you're going to see confetti what are your thoughts on this do you think it's too pixelated do you think it's too pixelated hmm or do you think it's going to work out well because it's sort of got that abstracty feel like you know it's kind of an interpretation of it let me know your thoughts down in the comments below all right this one here again has been seen before uh, I'm sure by many I'm sure you guys have seen many of these before and just so that you know there's a design the, the diamond area like what your di like what it looks like and it's the same so that's a full drill it's full drill it's not a partial so that's what it looks like there okay perfect this next one I know quite a few people have done this before and I'm not the biggest fan of this uh, type of picture and I went backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards with this and I decided why not why not I got it because I figured I reckon in one of the offspring would enjoy it and indeed I think I've actually got two of these but anyway we'll see is this upside down even I think it's upside down okay you ready uno due e tre yeah I'm not the biggest fan of skulls <laughs> I'm not I'm just not um I do though think that this one here see that design area and that's what you're going to be diamond painting so all the black in the background is actually a partial it's a 42 by 60 and this one comes with where did I see the colors 10 10 colors uh, this one does have special diamonds in here we're going to have a look at those in a minute with only 10 colors there is still a lot of confetti in there there is still so much confetti like look at that which I guess you know you will want you will want a bit of confetti even though it's only 10 colors because if it's all just one color what's you know I think that would be totally boring it's just when they're partials they tend to take a lot more to flatten out so let's have a look here toolkit you now this one here check that out so you've got special see this focus isn't she beautiful that's going to go here and then these diamonds here look at those oof the sparkle on them they're going to go around here on those and then oh my goodness this is going to sparkle 
like nobody's business. They are all ABs in there. I think almost, and these are ABs as well. These cream colored ones. Oh my goodness, look at those. The sparkle on Diamond Dots Diamonds is incredible. I, I, I've always been happy with them. Then you've got basically, so these are your colors. These are your 10 colors. You've got two white, two cream, and these are all AB. Then you've got one, two lighter grays, two darker grays, and three, two darker again, and then a darker gray again. So yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> have fun with that. All these creams and whites are obviously going to go everywhere. And then those greys are going to outline the jaw here, the nose and the eye sockets. And I'm guessing potentially part of this up here. As I said, not the biggest fan of this uh, sort of artwork, in like picture. But it is something that I reckon the offspring would probably enjoy in their room. Um, and it was cheap. It was cheap for what it was. All of these, so to give you an idea, I can't remember what the full price of something like this is, but they got reduced down to 35 and then I happened to walk in and they had something like take a further 80% off clearance items. So you can imagine, do the maths, yeah? Do the maths on what I got these at. It was a bargain, I'm not even gonna lie. Hence why, at the time, I went like a crazy person and scooped up all the ones that I wanted or didn't already have um, to show you guys. Oh, oh, I dropped the diamonds and I'm bending down. <laughs> all right, let's get this one out. Yeah, you're, you're holding up and you're keeping up with me. Are you keeping up with me? I hope so. Oh, this one's pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, but I can see already that I like the colors. Let me just, uh, uh. this one's really pretty. It's a lot prettier than what I thought. Let's, um, which way is it, Gracie? Put it the right way for the peoples. This way. Okay, you ready? Uno, due, e tre. How pretty is that? And there's not a lot to diamond paint on this. All the flowers in the background, that's already pre-printed. That's already, it's already on there. You're basically, all you're gonna be doing is the birds. The two birds. And this one's called Blue Parrots, 42 by 52. Okay, and it's got licensing. It's always got their licensing on there as well. Here it is here, the design area. So that's what the finished product will look like. And oh, look at that. <laughs> and that's all you're gonna be diamond painting. 14 colors, 14 is all you will need. These are really good, you know what? They're good quick projects. They, I think, in my opinion, make great presents because, I'll tell you why, when you've got the backgrounds, they're all, it's already done for you, if that makes sense. A lot of people don't like them, but, you know, it's a lovey. Toolkit. And here's your colours. There is a AB here. Oh, look at this one. We'll, we'll find out where that one goes. So we've got one AB there. That's number ooh, eight. Yep. And let's see if there's any more in here. Ooh, oh wow. That's a pretty. Yep, so, and we've got this blue here. Look at that massive one. So can you see what I mean by an aurora borealis? How, see how it's got that extra shine? Wow, 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 wow. So what did I say? 14 colors and two AB. So this, uh, where did it go? I lost it. Didn't I say, oh, there, these are your two ABs. So this like minty one and this, and this uh, blue. So this mint one here is number eight. Uh, that's going to go where there's a dot. So that's going to line the top here and along the top there of this bird here and in here and just a couple down here just to give it a bit of pop. 
there and there as well. And then this blue one, I'm dying to know where this one goes. That's number four. And that is the T symbol. And that will, that's, it's going to be sprinkled basically all throughout. I'm not gonna lie, I can see it everywhere. Just kind of dotted right throughout. There's lines of it, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. There's lines of it down there. And it's mainly in the verticals, which is interesting. It's giving the vertical look. Vertical, yeah. So you've got the two ABs there. Would I do anything else? Uh, I don't know if I had a few yellow ABs uh, to replace these ones. Might put some there and there, but I don't know. But that's a really pretty one. That gives me kind of like, I, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but it almost gives me grandma vibes. <laughs> it gives me grandma vibes, I don't know why. It's just, I think it's the flowers. I think it's the flowers on this one. But if you are a fan of parrots, and you don't mind partials, that could be something that you'd enjoy doing. Alrighty, let's keep going. Let's keep moving along and see what else I've got here for you for your viewing pleasure. Mm -mm -mm. I'm doing them basically in size order. So the, uh, the, what do you call it? As we go along, the bigger the can, well, the bigger the box, that doesn't necessarily, I suppose, mean the bigger the canvas. So we shall see. We shall see. All right. And again, very deceptive because the box on this is pretty much almost the same size as the one that we just saw. However, I feel that the canvas is smaller. Anywho, like I said, we shall see. Let's have a look. Uno, due, e tre. Oh. Okay, White Wolf. And that's the licensing there. She is 35.5 by 45.72. Gosh, they couldn't get more specific, could they? Really, I mean, like really. She's a bit stiffer -oony. She's a bit stiffer there. But look at that. Look at the green eyes. If you're an animal fan, this gives me sort of Christmassy vibes too. I don't know, is it the flowers? I don't know. It gives me Christmassy vibes. There it is there, the design area. Okay, and that's what you're going to be diamond painting. So the entire wolf and the flowers and a few of those leaves. So down here, you're gonna be doing these and that there. And it's just this background that's that's not diamond painted, okay? Uh, and it has 25 colours. I don't check the sticky on all of them because I've, like, seriously, I've never ever been disappointed with diamond dot stickiness. And they are really, for me, aside from the times where I've gotten static, they've never been a problem for me to do. I've really enjoyed diamond dots. Took it, you yeet. And these are our colours. Oh, we've got just a little bit of this orange as an AB. See that? Oh, here we go. Look at that. And a green. There's a green AB there. Um. Sometimes it's hard to tell because their diamonds are so sparkly as it is that what might be an AB is just a normal diamond. Honestly, they are so good. So super sparkly. I think that might be it, kiddos. But they're your colours that you're going to be working with. See what I mean by giving off Christmas vibes? Maybe it's because of these two colours that I get that vibe. Hmm, what do you what do you think? Do, does it give you Christmas sort of vibes? So we've got a green, which is 25, which is the letter F, and 24, which is the letter J. I'm going to suggest that 
Oh, they've got some of this green in the eyes. That's that spookorama right there. There's a little bit of um, J in here in the eyes. And then, what did I say? F. I'm going to be hunting, pecking for where those Fs are because there's not a lot, which means there's probably going to be like only three or four down here. I can see it's going to be in the leaves here. So I can see some in here. And there's one or two spread in here, but not a lot. If you've got leftover, I would I would go hammer and tong and put some more in wherever you feel, to be fair. And as far as J, there's more of this in these leaves down here as well, in the lighter parts. So I can see that there. So that's White Wolf. White Wolf by Diamond Dots. Let's pop that aside. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, how many we got to go? We got one, two, three, four, and the one that I'm doing, five. Woo! You think you've got a marathon? Oh, I'm, I'm on the other end doing this. <laughs> but I love doing long videos. Uh, it gives you all something to think about, to watch, to listen. Let's put that one aside. All right, let's get it out. If you could see the mess that's accruing on the floor next to me. Let's get this out and relax. Oh, come on, relax, relax, relax. Okay, you ready? Uno. Due e tre. There we go. She's a white tiger in autumn. A white tiger in autumn. Again, partial. Uh, this is that for sizing 35.5 by 45.72. I love this 0.72. How awesome is that? <coughs> Pardon me. There's the full picture. This is what you'll be diamond painting. Okay, 17 colors, 17 colors. Let's see what they give you for these. Can you see how these would make great little quick projects though? Well, for me it would be quick because I'm used to working on monstrous part, um, paintings, like huge. Uh, toolkit, boop. And here's our colors with only 17. Let's see what we've got to play with as far as color palettes go. We've got a white AB here. Um, and a few little bits of pinks, very, very little ones there. So one white AB, so that's gonna be, going to be highlighting our tiger for sure and that's number seven on here which is this dot so yeah throughout throughout the tiger I mean where else is it going to be really but to give you a, a closer it's here um, throughout the fur here mm. there's a lot of this um, yeah that would be about right actually and then it's sprinkled throughout, pretty much where you would expect. Pretty much where you would expect, to be fair. All right, let's pop these aside. Your symbols are always pretty, uh, they might vary colored from um, painting to painting, but these are the sort of symbols that you're working with. And I have said it before in the past that I always, um, to name another company, Dreamer Designs. I feel that their symbols and diamond dots are so similar to one another, it's ridiculous. So similar. Uh, so that's that one there. We've done that one. Let's get to the next one. This one I think is lots of fun. This one was bought with a very specific, it gave me some feels sort of thing. If I can get it out of the box, it would be good for you. Come on. 
this one here I uh, I got this because for a very specific reason I'll tell you the story in a minute it'll make more sense once I get it out of the box oh dear oh, let me flatten it out open 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 bit of ASMR for you oh, come on all right you ready uno due e tre gala quartet Gary Fleming publishing now the reason that I got this painting is that I remember in one of our trips from when I used to live on the farm, we rescued a galah that was injured on the side of the road when I was a very young girl. And we rescued him and we, I was gonna say repaired him, but <laughs> he was injured and we got him back healthy and we had him as a pet for a very, very long time. And his name was Billy. And so when I saw this, and because it's got like that farm feel, like that country feel, it really, really brought me to that place. Now, to the naked eyeball, it looks a bit pixelated, which is disappointing. Through the camera, it does look a bit better though. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this as a cross stitch as well. So there's our design size. And this one is a lot like there's not a lot of background um, even though it's a partial you're diamond painting quite a lot of it and it's got 37 colors so you, really there is not a lot that you're not diamond painting on this so that's pretty cool we're getting up there we're getting up there let's have a look and see about these 37 colors shall we toolkit and let's have a look. I said we weren't going to look at all the colours, but we're slowly sort of trying, you know, oh, we sort of are looking at quite a lot of them, but very quickly, very quickly. I feel that you wouldn't get bored with this one either. I'm actually quite pleased that there's you know, touch wood so far. Has not been a lot of static either. Um, with these so that's been oh let's do it the other way so that's been a pleasant surprise there's an AB so we've got 5001 which is an AB there some greys a little bit of yellow orange 8405 8001 I think is their black okay so we've got that white as an AB. Anything else? Any other little pretty ones? I mean, they're all pretty, but let's be fair. Yes, there's an AB. Green, look at, oh, and there's, is there two bags of it? No. So one big bag, one big bag of the green. And there's those. And then, of course, you're going to need your browns for the hats and the fence post and all of that as well. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice blue. All right, so we've got green and white. So that green is number 23, and that is the little T. And this green here, this, let's zoom you out so you can see what I'm doing. This, this green is lining these lines here. So all these reeds, all these, you know, grassy bits here, that's all through there. And also, might I say, in these leaves, there's a lot of it here. So you're going to get a nice sprinkling of it. I can see it down there. So, and up there. They've done really well with this. I can see why they've done all the, all the green. I love this hat. I love this hat. And then the other one that we said was the white, 5001, which is number one on here. It's the circle with a dot. And as expected, it's going to be in your birds. There. 
in these parts down here and these flowers would they be yep and sprinkled throughout the tops of the parrots up there as well um, and some down here but how's that uh, this one this one specifically did absolutely give me um, a throwback to my childhood it really really brought me back and so I'm, I'll be excited to do this one uh, my two brothers I think would be too young to remember Billy but I know my sister certainly would remember I uh, don't know that she would appreciate having this though as a present so if I do it or well, not if but when I do it I'll be doing it for me and it'll be just lovely to put aside all right let's go we're down to the last three peeps the last three now this one here uh, my kids are not the biggest biggest fan but I grew up with this one so that's why I got this and it's gonna make more sense as to what I'm talking about once you once I actually get it out of the box as to what it is I'm actually very tempted to get a different version from a different company it's recently been brought out because I'm absolutely loving that version of it as well uh, if you're going to be partaking in I think it's Christopher and Stacy's event for retro the retro event I think they're doing it next year I reckon this would certainly fit can you see can you see what it is I wonder if you can see through the camera as much as I can see here anywho let's go uno due e tre Wonder Woman Wonder Woman look at her or Wonder Woman and all related characters and elements there you go they've actually got the license for it so this one here is a 47 by 57 partial yes she is does she look awesome I reckon she does and wow this is this will work up so quick so so oh my oh my god I've just oh, <laughs> you have no idea how quick Peoples, peoples, peoples. A, these are the specifications. The box is actually different for this one. Um, is there the? No, there's no, there's no comparison of whatever, whatever. However, like as in, so all this background is not diamond painted. See, so all the red behind is not diamond painted. It's but it's just the red everything else is even even this is diamond painted what i got excited about is uh let me zoom oh look at the color blocking this is all color blocking she's all color blocked that's color blocked the there's blue and black in her hair and that's it, it, it and um hello people 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 have a look one two three four five six seven eight colors oh my gosh tell me that's not gonna work up quick I grew up with her I loved her you know with her pam, 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 you know with her her wristing boom <laughs> Come on, an invisible plane? Tell me, tell me those of my generation that remember it. Tell me, come on. Ah, oh, my goodness. All right, a little, little bit of white, AB, just a little. I don't know if they're gonna give us any more. We've got yellow, ABs, and that's it. So these, that's, that's all your diamonds. Tell me that's not gonna work up quick. Tell me that's not going to work out quick. I mean, like, seriously, guys. Wow. So, the yellow ABs, I am guessing, is number six. It's the tick symbol. And literally, it's going to be out, like, there's black on the outside of here. 
but then on the inside of that is all these tick symbols with the ABs. So it's going to make these boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> Everywhere that you see yellow, the outline has got the yellow ABs, even on her belt, on her bustier, on, you know, on this bits, this bits, and then here as well. But isn't she awesome? Wonder Woman. Oh, there's another. Oh, my, oh, sister. How did I miss that? And there's orange. Oh, mama. Hot damn. Hang on. One, two. There's three ABs here. How did I? Seven, eight. Oh, and they've given us two sevens. So there's an orange one here. And that's the little N. So where is this now? Where is the little N? Oh, that yellow AB, this one here, is also in the Wonder Woman up here. Okay. This orange, where have they put this? It's a little N. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's that, not that many symbols. Come on, people. Really? Really, Gracie? Really? 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 How can you not... Your eyeballs are not that far gone that you can't see where it is. And there's a lot of it, so... Why can't I see it? I wonder if it's misprinted. Honest to good... Oh, okay. I can see some of it here. Oh! Okay, oh, can you see? One of my lenses is gone, so I can only go in so far. Can you see that N that's outlining Wonder Woman? Probably, see these little symbols here? That's where it is, it's, been, it's hiding. It's actually outlining. So you've got a, this orange AB on the outside, then you've got black, and then on the inside, you've got the yellow. OMG, I'm so excited. Whoever would have thought? Whoever would have thought? I want to, oh, should I put it away for Stacey and Christopher's event? Ugh. You know, if I kid her up, I'm going to do her. But I can't do that. And I know that they've got their event. And But I want to kid her up. But I know they've got their event. But, oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. I love her. She, you know, I'm not the, the hugest fan of retro, but this, nailed it. Nailed it. Yep, yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. So I guess you can guess so far which one is my favorite, right? <laughs> so far, so far. We've got two more to go. Come on guys, hang in there with me. Hang in there. We're almost there. Oh, just bumped you. Oh my gosh. Bumping everything here. And I did find the picture. So that's what you're diamond painting. There you go, that's your surface area there. Oh, holy dooly. Holy dooly. All right, so let's let's see what else Gracie's got. Come on, come on, come on, open. And to give you an idea, <coughs> remember when I said they were like 70 or 80% off the clearance price? It was take 70 or 80% off that price. Yeah, you know why I got these paintings, yeah? Seriously, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? All right. Let's look at this one. Now, along with Wonder Woman, along with Wonder Woman, along with Wonder Woman, what else did I watch growing up? Uno, due. There he is! Batman! This one is a little bit more pixelated, not quite as... Well, I, is it trust the process? We'll see. 
Uh, it is 47 by 57. Is it the same size? Oh. No, Wonder Woman's bigger. Of course she's bigger. Haha. <laughs> However, I grew up watching the original Batman. The original. I know they've bought out all these new ones and yada, yada, yada. But I remember the old, you know, pow, kapow, boom, thwop. <laughs> Come on. If you don't know what I'm watching, please go back and Google the old Batman TV series and you'll understand. It'll make a whole lot of sense. Here we go. That's the full picture. That's what you're diamond painting. <laughs> I'm having a whole heap of fun doing this diamond painting, uh, this unboxing, I should say. Uh, oh, diamonds fell on the floor. I've got to bend. You hear me creaking. Diamond painting kit. kit. And this one uh, has, where's the box gone? Where's my box? Like seriously, Gracie, where's the box? There's the box. There's the box. Uh, does it say how many colors on this here? Mm. No, not many though. There is not many. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine colors. You're golden, people, you're golden. So we've got a whole bunch of this, 8,000. So there's a lot of black in this, guys. There's one, two, three, four. Four, but this is all color blocking. It's all color blocking. The yellow is color blocking. The bat is color blocked. And then everywhere, I mean, like seriously, they will work up so quick. We've got yellow and white ABs here. So I'm guessing that this yellow here is that's the number eight and that's the minus symbol and that's going around the lettering that yellow that you see here and it's outlining the light here there in here in here and then the white don't tell me he's all white 5001 uh, Oh, what am I looking at? Number nine, which is the what's the name symbol? Is that right? Nine. It's the upside down V. Oh, so it's outlining his his um. What's that? What is even that? What is even that? Oh, you know what it is. I reckon he's standing on a building. He's standing on the top of a building. If anyone knows the actual symbolism towards that, that would be good, awesome, let me know. But that's what that is. At first I thought it was a bike, but no, it's not. Mmm! Who is really, really good at their Batman history and knows. But the white is outlining all of that. There. I can't do anything because, like, gosh forbid, someone should copyright. I'm going to just go all over that. Batman. Love me a Batman. I love the old. So you can see, look at this. What would be the chances of me getting both of these done? Can you see it? What a set! What an awesome, awesome set they make together. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love with these two. I'm in love with these two. Bringing us down to the last one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, let's push this aside because I might need some room. This one is a big one. Come on. All right. She's a big one. She's again a partial. Uh, 
the kiddos, the offspring weren't too impressed with this because they're not the biggest fan of this genre of movies. However, that's okay because I am. So it's not always about them. Oh, and this one needs a lot of re-unstiffening. We've got to soften her out. We're going to unstiffen. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. All right, you ready? Can you get it all in, Gracie? All right, ready? Uno, e due, e tre. Woo, baby. There they are. There they are. Justice League. Okay, the Fab Five, the Fabulous Five. It is a 65 by 62. It is a partial. You can see that's the full painting there. That's what you're going to be diamond painting. So you're going to be diamond painting all of them. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. These two are my favorite, followed by Superman. Wasn't the biggest, biggest fan of The Flash. And I believe that's Aquaman, I'm going to say, maybe, potentially. This is kind of a fun one to do. Um, am I in love with this as I am as, as much as the other two? Probably not. However, remember what I was telling you about prices? That's why. Take 60 or 70% off that price and tell me you wouldn't buy it. Tell me you wouldn't buy it. If for no other reason than to show you guys what there is out there, if you are a fan. If you are a fan. So this one here, does it have the colour count on there? Where did I see it last time? Probably not because it wants to be a pill. But this one's got a bunch of colours. Look at that. It's got a lot. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, about 32 colours. 32 colours, my friends. Okay. Toolkit. Woohoo. And these are big, chunky bags. God, the sparkle on them. I, I keep saying it, and I keep thinking that they're ABs and they're not. So we've got this cream AB, we've got a yellow AB. We've got a, is that an AB? No, almost could be, but it's not. So we've got this cream, this yellow. Let's keep looking. Only a teeny tiny amount of greens in those. And we've got one, two, three, four, five black. I think there might be the only ABs, guys. Yes, sir. Interesting. Interesting. Not a lot. There's a lot of black. There's a lot of color blocking. Uh, this one, compared to the Batman and the um, Wonder Woman, is got more confetti again. But there is confetti. There is color block confetti, if that makes sense as well. So. 30, oh, 31, 32, so that's the last two here. So it's the A and the arrow symbol. So the A, I can see up here. So A being the yellow. I can see in Wonder Woman's head headpiece. Um, and in Superman down here. Superman, but no, no, I can't see that either. There and here down there so wherever you see yellow is where you're going to see this yellow here then the cream which is interesting 5007 is the less than symbol uh, where are we again in her headpiece mm, i'm struggling i'm struggling to find where it could be in her headpiece there. Oh, 
and Superman symbol here, here. A little bit down here for Batman. That's about it. And then number 30 is this. No, it's not an AB. I thought it was, but it's not. So you got the two. You got the two there. So not a lot in this one either. Uh, so they've basically highlighted one and two, like giving you ABs for those two. And that's your Justice League. How's that? How's that for a marathon Diamond Dots unboxing? I've been wanting to do this unboxing for the longest time. What a variation. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Tell me which one you like. Tell me which one you like the most. Um, I know, as I said, even though partials may not be your thing, doesn't matter. Do you have a favourite? Do you have a least favourite? Do you not like Diamond Dots? Tell me all down in the comments below. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> I'm the one that's got to pack all this up, yeah? Who wants to come over and give me a hand? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, if you've gotten to the end, please use the word, uh, <sighs> use the word wonderful. Wonderful. The word wonderful in the comments below. No emoji required, just the word wonderful. Uh, in honor of Wonder Woman, Wonder. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Use that in the comments below. If you've gotten to the end, I do want to say thank you so much for putting some time aside from your day to listen to me and watch this video. Please hit me up with a thumbs up on your way out or a thumbs down, whichever one. A thumbs down lets me know, well, especially if you comment and let me know how I can do things better for you. With all that being said, thanks again. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. Have each other's backs. It's so, so super important. Until I see you guys next time, I'm going to send you all much, much love and ciao, ciao for now.